My name is Vincent Lunetta. I am 79 years old. I was present at the Maplewood Caddy Camp uh, during the Second World War and was not a caddy at that time. In 1949, I became a caddy at Bretton Woods Caddy Camp for the Mount Washington Hotel. And so I worked as a caddy as a boy when I was 12 years old through uh, my first year in college. The, the golfers would have to pay a caddy fee for a nine-hole fee or an 18-hole fee or whatever. And then there was expected to be, under normal circumstances, a tip that was based upon the quality of what the golfer thought kind of service he or she got. When I first started, I think it was 75 cents for nine holes and a dollar fifty for, or a dollar and a quarter for 18. By the time I finished, the nine hole charge was a dollar. The caddy service the, for, for 18 holes might have been a dollar 75 or two dollars. Uh, and then the tip might have been 50 cents, 25 cents, or a dollar. So when that money had to be turned in to the caddy master at the end of the, that particular caddying session, when the caddy was paid, the, the caddy would have to give the money to the caddy master who would record in a ledger book what that caddy earned. In the years that I worked at Bretton Woods, the caddy could keep the tip if he wanted to, or he could turn it in, and it would be included in his account. At the end of the week, a person in charge of accounts, which was another officer, I did this most of the time when I was working as one of the leaders of the camp. At the end of the week, all of the daily caddy uh, income was, was tallied. A charge was deducted from the total for providing food and so forth. And so in the years that I worked at Bretton Woods, room and board ranged from, I believe, $7 at the beginning to 8 or $9 in my last year, which was 1956, probably. Caddies could withdraw money to do things like go to the Colonial Theater or buy some candy or buy some Coca-Cola or whatever. And so um, some caddies saved everything. Some caddies had to be reminded from time to time that they weren't saving very much. But a lot of boys used this as money either to, to help support parents who were having some challenges or to put it in a fund for college. And one of the wonderful things that came out of Babywood Caddy Camp was a rather large number of the caddies who did go to college, although they were the children of immigrants who had very low incomes. Their time at Caddy Camp is likely to have had or was believed to have had by the caddies themselves, in retrospect, a, a major influence on the lives of most, most of the caddies that have commented.